Hey, what's up YouTube? TMZ1313 here. Today I just want to show you guys how to power your house when the grid goes down uh, from a generator or a inverter. Now one thing that um, that I really miss when the power goes out is the heat, especially because I have two kids and a wife, and the wife's always cold when the heat's on anyway, so um, definitely want to have heat when it's cold out. So instead of running like a little space heater that... Uh, heats up one room or even lights for that um i got a simple solution on how to do it now it can be dangerous i want to warn you um and if you don't feel comfortable doing it i suggest you don't and there is a way to um it's called a transfer switch basically you gotta get a certified electrician to come out he comes and puts a plug in where you just plug that um your generator or inverter into that plug and then that goes into your house and powers the things that you want. Now, um, I'm going to do it basically for free on my part. Um, I have this wire here. This is called a suicide plug or better known as a widow maker. Uh, simply because you got two male ends. And if you ever plug in one side of the plug, you got uh, exposed wires. So that's what's dangerous about that. Another thing that's dangerous about that is the uh, people that work on the power lines to restore your power so um, I'm gonna talk all about that and then I'm gonna show you guys a video on how to do that how to hook it up and how everything works um, so first things first is like I said if you don't feel comfortable doing it uh, don't I mean if you if you think you absolutely need to it's an emergency uh, it is safe if you do it right and I'm gonna show you the safe way of doing it um, so the first thing being never plug this into a live plug all right uh, never have exposed wires so when the grid's down and there's no power on your plug if you plug this in there's still no power in here all right so just keep that in mind um, a second thing is when when you do this you gotta have your main breaker off your main breaker powers your whole house all right um, when you turn that off, it isolates your house from the grid and no power is being fed back into the power grid and a linesman that's working to restore your power won't get shocked from you energizing your lines. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, now to make this, it's pretty simple. You just take two mail ends, all right, uh, make sure it's thick gauge wire because uh, all your power is going to be running through this one cord. Um, or you might have multiple of these cords to run different uh, circuits. Um, when you open this, it's all color coded. So you just match up the colors. You tape it, solder it. Um, you don't have to solder it if you don't have a soldering gun. But I, I did, so I soldered it up. Just get a good connection. <coughs> and um, put electrical tape around it. So you could basically do this for free, or you could make it um, a little bit beefier. You could you could buy plugs and stuff like that um, if you would like, but you can do it for free. Um, another thing that comes in handy is a kilowatt meter. So you gotta know how many watts you're uh, you're running. Um, generators typically anywhere from a thousand to ten thousand watts uh, make sure that your size generator could handle the power that you need or that you're going to use uh, same thing goes for an inverter if you got an inverter make sure that the inverter can handle all the power that you're going to send to it so you don't damage anything uh, this thing right here is called a kilowatt meter you get at Harbor Freight I, they're actually more expensive at Harbor Freight buy them on Amazon I got this for 15 bucks and what this does is basically tell you the um, the wattage or amps or anything that is plugged into this so that way you can plug this into your fridge and you'll know your watts and stuff like that uh, same thing goes for TV and uh, stuff like that so it's good to have this another thing that you should do is while you're powered while you while you do have power um, go through all your breakers and see what what breaker goes on what so you know what um, so when the power does go out you know what circuit or plug 
um, goes to what? Now this plug happens to run all my lights. So if I want all my lights to run, I just plug this to my generator or inverter and that will power all my lights. Um, my other plug in my laundry room actually is connected to my furnace. Uh, so I could put that in and that will run my furnace. Um, so this is good to have. I think it's absolutely necessary um, to have to make sure that you're not going to overload your generator or inverter and damage something. Alright, another thing that I like to do or that I suggest doing is making a list or a um, instructions on how to do it. Now, you probably laugh at me and say, oh, I don't need that, I'll remember it. Well, you gotta think. Um, it could be a year, it could be five years, it could be tomorrow. You never know when that's gonna happen when you uh, when the power goes out. So this basically will tell you the uh, right instructions to do it safely. And I normally don't do a lot on safety, but uh, I don't wanna be responsible, and I'm not responsible for um, any kind of um, accent that may happen while doing this. Uh, I just want to show you guys because uh, I'm a family man. You know, I got kids and wife and um, I like to make sure that they're well taken care of in any situation. So with that being said, make a list so you have it all there. Uh, the first thing on my list is to turn off your main breaker. Like I said, you want to isolate your house that way that you don't power the line go into the um the power grid and also because when that power get, does get turned back on if you have that main breaker on it's going to ruin um your generator and all that stuff because it's trying to feed power into the generator all right next thing i have on here is know what circuit you want to energize like i was saying go through um when you have power and go through all your circuits and breakers and see what um, plugs and lights are on each one so you know when the power does go out, you know which ones to plug into. Alright, then you want to take your Widowmaker and you want to plug it into the um, circuit or the plug that you want to energize. Once you do that, um, now you want to do it in this order because when you plug this in there and you have no power, this is not live. Alright, you don't want to plug into the generator because then this will be live. You want to plug it this into the plug first and then plug your extension cord into this and that will energize that circuit. Um, next is plug the extension cord coming from the generator or the inverter. Um, and then know which wattage that you have. That's very important also. Uh, add up all your total watts and what you're going to run. Pick and choose of what you're, you're going to want to use that way um you don't overload your generator and then uh when finally when you realize that you do have power you basically just reverse those instructions so first you want to um unplug the extension cord because that will de-energize the circuit and then this will not be live so you, then you unplug this you turn your main breaker on and then you have grid power again it's easy as that um so i'll show you a quick video that I have of me powering my furnace and lights and then um, yeah so I appreciate you guys watching please like subscribe keep safe do this safely don't be dumb and uh, subscribe like I said and I'll see you guys later alright guys so I'm gonna simulate um, the grid going down or your uh, the power goes out so uh, I'm going to show you the steps that you got to take in order to get your furnace on or any other lights like that. So first thing you want to do is go in your panel and turn off your main breaker. That's the most important thing. You don't want to electrocute um, the lineman that's working to restore your power. Also, it isolates your house so when the power does go back on, it doesn't damage your generator or any other thing that's connected to it. So that's the most important thing. You cannot forget this step. That's the most important one. All right. Another thing is um, when you do have power, go through all your breakers and label everything that you have. All right. That way, uh, when the power does go out, you know which breaker and what plugs go to what. That way, you could power what you want to uh, run. All right. So, I want to show you guys on 
uh, how I'm uh, run my furnace off my generator. Now the power is off, like I said. All right, I have no power in the house. Um, and you, uh, it's best to do these steps in, in uh, this order. So here's my suicide plug, or also known as the Widowmaker. And this plug actually happens to be on the same circuit as my furnace. So we're going to plug this in first because there's no power because that's open. If you did have power, that could shock you. We're going to plug in the extension cord that's running from the generator. Sorry, I got to put it down for a second. And we're going to plug that in. So we do have power. As you can tell, there's a little green light on the plug. Now this is a GFI, so that's good to have also. Um, there is one light that is on the same circuit, and it's this one. All right. So I'm going to go to my furnace over here. And we're going to turn it on. And it's going to sound rough to start, but it will run. And here we go. So I got my generator running the furnace right now. Um, so on these cold days when you have no power, you still have heat. It's very important to have. Alright. So. That is how you run that. Now let's say you want to run a different circuit. You could run another plug going to a different circuit. So that's what we're going to do here. So, this plug right here actually runs all my lights. So you get another plug. Sorry about that, I gotta plug in. And there, now everything will have lights. So, I can turn on this light. So now the generator is running. Every single light in my house here is the bathroom light. My kids room. Uh, living room light. Um, that light's actually burnt out but I do have a light right here. So this is all being ran off of um, the generator. So simple as that. It's really easy. It's safe if you do it the right way, but you got to make sure you do it the right way. All right.